weapon. Uh, you still miss, however, with a 10 versus armor class. God damn it. Okay. So, Lazar, you're up now. Okay. Um, seeing that... Moving well, out of that is going to be double movement as well, by the way. Yeah, yeah. Seeing that, you know, still haven't really been noticed over here by any of the other guys, and just kind of, kind of no. point at this goblin casting true strike. Okay. And uh, refresh, refresh me what a true strike really does. Sure. Yeah, you it your it hand. means I win, Dave. You just, it's a, it's a. Of course. <laughs> it's an instant kill, Dave. It's an instant you know? kill, you know. <laughs> <laughs> the finger of death. Six hundred sixty-six d6. Damage. <laughs> uh, so it's uh, you extend your hand and point a finger at a target in range. Your magic grants you brief insight into the target's defenses. On your next turn, you gain advantage on your first attack roll against the target, provided right. that the spell hasn't ended. Yeah, very nice. That's a concentration spell, so you're going to need yes. to make a constitution saving throw if you uh, take any kind of damage. So, All right. Mm -hmm. No problem. You get a true strike off. So that is just basically there's no attack roll involved in that from the looks of it. And yeah. you have a uh, a mark on them. And that that's for this one here or finger yes, target? Yes, the red one red. Okay, all right. So let's go ahead and let's put a red red mark on him to okay. uh, remind you that you have two strikes. So basically his armor is, uh, his armor class is 11. And that's okay. that's part of your, your true strike. So next your next attack will be a... Uh, will actually be with advantage. So you can yeah. go ahead and do your movement now, and uh, we will continue to move on. I will not be moving, so that's about it. Okay, sounds good. Uh, let's see, now we have the goblin in the red. Uh, this guy is going to shoot. Uh, now that he has seen you move in the bush and cast a spell, he is going you to shoot. that? Oh, of course. You gotta you gotta move the bushes around, don't you? Well, actually, why don't you give me a stealth check? Why don't you give me okay. a stealth check, and I'm gonna do a perception <laughs> check, and we'll we'll settle that. How about we'll settle it that way? How about that? All right, all right. I think that would be fair. I think that would actually be pretty fair. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so your uh, your stealth roll was. A six and my perception roll uh, with a negative modifier is a ten. So yes, uh, I did okay. see you uh, pop your head out of that bush, and I will attack you. Okay. All right. So he is shooting you with his uh, with his short bow. And oh, wow! Look at that. What happens? Uh, it's a twenty-four versus uh, armor class with a which it is a natural twenty for a crit. So, uh, oh. so you're uh. gonna go ahead and <laughs> man, I'm so sorry about Goodbye. this. <laughs> you on the flip side, you take, sorry. You take a total of 12 damage. Uh, you take a total of 12 piercing damage from the from the critical strike from the goblin. Okay, yeah, I'm down. Are you okay? Go ahead and put your uh, life and death up. That really, <laughs> su <laughs> that really <laughs> sucks for you. <laughs> it's gonna be one of these sessions again. What's up, guys? We're How's busy today. Busy Shh. what? We're in the game. Nah, 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 nah. What you guys doing? Playing D and D on stream. Oh, okay. That's yeah, busy. we're busy. All right. Yeah. I'm there. Bye. He's banned permanently. So that's what's gonna happen when more and more people, uh, you know, get the information. They're gonna give it out. People are gonna come in, but. No problem. He's banned. No big deal. Dirt, you can do that as well if you want to. Okay. All right. So, uh, the mage goes down. The wizard goes down. You can go ahead and put your uh, life or death saving throws on there. And we will continue. I will go ahead and uh, I'm going to step back five feet as well. Uh, Dirt, you are up. Okay. So, I, um, the one that's directly in front of me there, Dave... Mm -hmm. this, this is a fluid fight uh, when he swung at me he missed I blocked his shield or I blocked his thing with my shield and, and kicked it back and kicked it back towards him mm -hmm. and 
as my shield came clear, I looked at him in his face, and I said, you just made the worst mistake of your about to be very short life. And I uh, take my, my long sword and I swing it at him. And uh, his eyes get big as he sees your hand come back with the sword lunging towards him. And a uh, 12 versus AC. 12 versus armor class is a miss. He Damn is, it. Uh, he is right. wielding a... He, yeah, it's definitely a miss. He's using a scimitar and shield. So you miss with a 12 versus armor class. Hold on one sec. He just kind of chuckles at All you. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now chuckle now, boy. <laughs> Dirt, uh, that is it for you. So next wait, wait, up. hold on, hold on, boy. You know what? I think I want to use my lucky. Okay, you can use lucky. You haven't used that yet, so. Yeah, I want to go ahead and use lucky and take another attack on him. All right. So. So you want to use that as a as a reroll? That that reroll is a hit. A twenty three huh. versus armor class. <laughs> Laugh now. <laughs> as as dirt has a a cigarette hanging out of his mouth. <laughs> Busted man. So I do five damage to him, Dave. Okay, you notice uh, you actually get a good hit in him. You get it past his defenses, and uh, you actually stab right through his wooden shield. And it lunges within his in his rib area. So you also notice that he's in a weakened condition, and you can hear him starting to uh, gargle up and spit up a little bit of blood. Okay, dirt. Nice. So that's it for you. Uh, now this this goblin here that you just uh, put into a a weakened condition is going to attack back. Mm -hmm. And he is Order using his scimitar. And that is a uh, an eight versus armor class, which is definitely and a miss. miss. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and use my nimble escape, which I can use as a uh, as a bonus action, and I'm going to fall back to here. So he he uses a a bonus action to nimble escape out of there. All right. So next up uh, is Rogar. You're up. Oh, well, all right. Work your magic, work your priest. Come. Sweet cheeks, Kiwi the hero. Sorry, guys, I got interrupted. In another thing I had to shut out. And Wolfenguard, fast. I, I the, my, thank uh, you for the follows, y'all. My wizard friend dropped down. Hello. Yeah, uh -huh. what do he's right next to you. Okay. So I kneel down and touch him and cast Spare the Dying. Okay. The question is, where do you touch him? Trevoni, mm. thank you for the uh, follow as well. Trevoni, thank you very much. All right, so if you want to get out action. of those bushes, uh, it is nope. it costs you double movement. Okay, so that's it. Nothing. Yep. Okay, Rogar is done. Uh, Arvel Deer, you're back. So up. he has. Uh, yes. He's conscious or er, con uh, stabilized with zero hit points. Yep, that is correct. Move up to him. Shank him. Shanky, shanky. Use the kit, right? No, oh. it's just it's, it's a cat, uh, a cantrip. Spread the okay, dying. oh, spare. Yeah, my bad. Jesus Christ. All right, Zerker, fifteen versus armor class. That is a hit. He is not using a shield, so you do hit him. Ouch. Eleven damage. Wow. He uh he is dead. You run him you run him through as well. Firewolf six, thank you for the follow. Gently scream in a war fashion in a war menacing <laughs> fashion and uh hmm. Okay. Is that it for you? No, 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 I okay. attack this one too. Twenty two with your bonus action, that is a hit. Go ahead and roll just normal dagger bonus. Normal damage 24. with your dagger, dagger, and no bonus damage. So, all right, wow, this one is dead as well. <clears throat> thanks for and thanks that's for showing a free up, action. group. As a free action, I'd like to sh shout back, "Yeah, I killed them all, guys!" Hey, <laughs> hey, you're all unconscious. Yeah, wel good, guys. welcome oh, to the community, there, Firewolf. Going through those bushes, 
we would have had this battle anyways. This is your fault, so it's good that you killed Well, him. you want them to ambush us and surprise us and... Plus, plus you, uh, he was mm. already gurgling his liver out. <laughs> yeah. But good job. I tried job. reasoning. Emphasis on tried. I pat you on your little elfin head and say, good job, buddy. Good job. Can I shank dirt in the kneecap? <laughs> I thought we were going to party kill until at least we were level 10. Yes, yeah, we're not yeah, going for Okay, okay. Good limit. Dave, I'm going to use my other heal potion and shove it down the wizard's throat and tell him to put me in the hands. <laughs> I love it. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. I have a charismatic of one. <laughs> oh wait, that's looks of one. I'm I'm charismatic with a sixteen. All right, so go ahead and do a, a 2d4 plus two, war hook. He does that, so yeah, he can do it. Anybody can do it. I uh, don't matter. Ooh, nice. that's probably good. He did do it, huh? Uh, yeah. Come to <clears throat> see that ugly ass dragonborn right in front of me and knock out again. <laughs> <laughs> please, please, God, make the go away. Wow. I think you would have to make a, wow. um, I think a constitution saving throw to not wow. be knocked out by his ugly appearance. That was not very nice. <laughs> too good. That was too good. That's way too good. And then, and so I look at the guys, Dave, while they're all doing this, and I go in a hushed voice. I say, "All right, everybody, get back in positions. I have an idea." Oh God, not this again. Yeah, get back in your position. Isn't it, isn't it gone. creepy with dirt being serious? I mean, seriously, guys. <laughs> it, 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 it something's creepy. wrong. You just notice it. So you're able to get back up to your feet as well, Scandroid, after you pass out for a second time uh, of the yeah. the horrible looks of the Dragonborn. <laughs> oh, Caressing me and all. Check that goblin. See what he's got on him. And I check these two. See what they have on them. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Each one has a pouch, and they all have about five silver apiece. They're not too sweet. They're not too rich. Let's head up later. Hold on to Three. Yeah, I'm yeah. going to say, yeah. 15 does it divide by four very easily, Dave. 3.75. We'll just... uh, you <laughs> can just do four apiece, guys. There all you right. go, four apiece. There you Merry go. Christmas, boys. <laughs> I'm just giving you shit, Dave. Um. So. Alright, so Zerker, get back in your spot. Make a stealth check to hide or something, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> now, Dave, I speak goblin. So, uh, I'm gonna hide and you know, stick my body right up here against the side of the, uh, the cave mouth. Uh -huh. Right? Yep. And. And then Goblin, I'm gonna yell, Oh my god, guys, get out of here! We need help! We're getting attacked by the King's Army! <laughs> Too much dirt, that was awesome. You can look inside this, you can look inside the cave dirt. And uh -huh. seeing that you're a human, you really can't see too far. You can see probably about 10 to 15 feet inside. But after that, it's just pure darkness. Yep. And as you as you yell that, it kind of echoes, and then all of a sudden you start to hear some snarling, and some it, it, what appears to be maybe a wolf or maybe a hound, and now they're starting to bark, and you can hear multiple pitches, so you're able to determine that there are uh, multiple animals that are barking inside the cave now. Okay. Ruff, ruff. I can't. I'm not doing that. So there you go. Well, oh, I, I did. Take so. <laughs> bow, wow, wow. <laughs> You're gonna run into Snoop Dogg and Snoop Lion in there, <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> or the formerly the actor formerly known as uh, Snoop Dogg. <laughs> yeah. Actually, he's gone back to Snoop Dogg. Yeah. Hey, Did Dave, he really? Did... No, he's not an actor. Yeah, he's formerly an act uh, artist known as uh, Snoop Lion. Nice. Kind of like Prince has done. <laughs> wow. So you I'm start gonna, to hear these. Uh, you start to hear some some animals starting to bark now. Dirt and all I can hear is this goblin ringing in my head now. I love it. Ah! 
I'm going to look back at the uh, mage, and I'm going to say, hey, you know that little fancy prestidigitation thing you do with the dancing lights? I don't suppose you'd want to make that happen on the inside of this cave for a minute, would you? With the Cursificuses? Yeah, with the Cursificuses. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let me check, hold on. Prestidigitation. So it looks like we have a, a lot of uh, non-dark vision seers here, except for the high elf. Yeah, yeah. We are. We're kind of screwed in the dark vision. And your uh, your tokens all represent that as well, just to let you know. Definitely. You guys all right, all right. should not be able to see too far into that tunnel, if I'm not mistaken, right, Dirt? Nope. I, I know Orvaldir. Yeah, I know Orvaldir can. He can see, I see inside you. a little bit. I, I see. Well, can I say what I see? Sure, absolutely. You could <laughs> talk to RP this out if you want. Oh. Okay. All I see are maybe what looks like it could be some stairs going off to the right, but that's all I can see. I can surely tell you that there's stairs going up to the right, as I saw earlier, and further up ahead, about another 20 feet, there's a fork. I, I go, shh, quiet, we're trying to lure them out. <laughs> yeah, we're whispering. Re reason. Okay. I, I'd like to shout back Hushed. in a very, very convincing voice and go bark. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna do right outside the thing, and then in, in Goblin again, I'm gonna yell, "Help! Help! We're getting killed! We need help!" Ah! Academy Award. Oh. Yes, Emmys. Emmys. <laughs> my dancing to create a medium-sized humanoid form uh, to cast to create the the light that we need, basically. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's what you hear coming from the cave. To give a little bit nice. of a sound effect for you. Nice. What's his dancing lights do for me, Dave? Does that help me at all? Uh, the, you're doing the dancing lights, right? So the three orbs of light. Mm -hmm. And they yeah. give out, they give off a, if I'm not mistaken, a five foot light radius. A ten foot radius. Is it ten? Okay. So let's let's give you one of these bad boys. I'll give, I'll put a five foot light radius on it. And what is the range of that thing as well? One hundred and twenty feet. Okay. All right. So, where are you at anyway? By the way, you're in the bush, so that's that's where that's where it's currently at. So you can go ahead and and uh, control it. So you, if you want to come out of that bush, or because you have to have, I'm pretty sure you have to have line of sight to uh, be able to move that thing around a little bit more if you want to. All right, let me double check. Dave, can you check my line of sight? Because all of a sudden I can see quite a bit that I probably shouldn't be seeing. Uh, well, it's because of the light source. It's because of the, the light source. Huh? Set us <laughs> okay, cause, well, no, I'm saying I can see, like, in here. I don't think I should be seeing in there, right? Where? From it's where set I'm us at. public. You should not be able to uh, see in there. Not well. You can see a little. I'm sure you can see a little. And I mean, bit in I here. can see all the way up in here too. So. Okay, so uh, I think uh, they have to be at least like I two or four. Just so how I have to make at least two or four of these uh, dancing lights, and it doesn't say anything about having line of sight on them, but. If it has to be within twenty feet of another light created by this spell, so that's why it has to be at least two. And it just winks out if it exceeds the 120 feet. Doesn't say anything about. Uh, okay. There you go. There's two orbs. Okay. I mean, they are shedding light, so I mean, and it is a, uh, it is a, all targets see this light. So. How far do we want this to go? Right there. I'm just inside so we can see what's going on. Right inside the doorway. Enough so I'm not scared to go in. Oh, so 
Where you're, you're, whoa, 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 snapperhead. Do you see where your token's at on the on the on the map? Uh huh. Okay, you're not on line of sight, so you're gonna. Search. It doesn't say you have to have line of sight. Uh, dude, that's common sense, man. Come on. Oh. You, okay. you just can't magically see through those orbs. Come on, tighten up. <laughs> this ain't your first time playing D and D. Let's go. Just shove them, shove them right there by the door, man. That's all we need. Just okay. so we see. Like right at the entrance of the door, you can see that. There Snapper head. <laughs> and with that, now that I can see Dave, I'm going to go ahead and advance up into the... Oh my god. I'm using my WSAD keys to move my character. What the hell am I doing? <laughs> okay, so with that, I'm going to move right here to where his lights are. Okay. And uh, so you can start to as you as you start to look into this tunnel dirt. Mm -hmm. You can see that uh, just inside the cave of the just inside the mouth of the cave you see that there are a few uneven stone steps that lead up to a small dark chamber on the east side of the passage. As you start to uh, move in a little bit, you can tell that is where the, the barking is coming from. And that is on the, like I said, that's on the eastern side of the passage. Uh, you can also see just a little bit of, of light that those orbs are shedding. You can see that the cave is starting to narrow uh, to a steep fissure at the at the uh, the far end to where you can see, uh, and you can also see well. You can actually start to smell the stench of animals. Uh, you can hear these savage snarls and these barking hounds, dogs, and it's starting to greet your ears. And you can hear some chains rattling as well. Okay, and that I'm gonna is, look at all of that is coming from those uh, from those steps. I'm gonna look over at Orville Redenbacher. And I'm gonna say, hey, cut some meat off of those, uh, off of those goblins that we just killed. <clears throat> Ooh, good so, idea. Let's get some dinner for these dogs. They sound hungry. Told me to do your dirty work. What do you think I am? <laughs> All right, I just cut an arm off of this goblin. Did you? Yes, did Dave. You? We get it. I can make your character have a brain aneurysm right now and die if you. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, no, I'd rather not. <laughs> and right, then, cut uh, a normal. <laughs> and throw it over to dirt. Okay, so I got the arm. Um, I'm gonna tell the guys. All right, guys, uh, watch your step when we go in here because there's like some stairs going up to the right, and they look like they're they're probably. You know, not the greatest, greatest stairs in the world to go up to. Also, point of order. Also, the cave point of goes. Order. Point of order. What? Point of order. Uh, actually, I would like to intrude here. Uh, should we move the bodies out of sight just in case another patrol comes? If anything, we should pile them up so the wolves can eat it. That's that's fine too. I don't care about that. But I'm just saying we probably should like. Move that body that's in the stream out of the stream, so like if we're in this cave, we don't get in trouble. So, well, we're gonna get in trouble if someone comes behind us, anyways. But be less suspicious. That's cool with me. I'll stand here and keep guard while you guys do that. And also, I would like to explore a bit back here, see what the goblins were doing. All right, so let's uh, we'll go turn based. So, dirt, you're standing guard. Uh, uh, affirmative. Ar Arval deer. You want to go into the uh, the little slough or alcove here? You can go ahead and do that. Yeah. I want to see what he, that red goblin emerged from. Uh, right around that corner. It was sort of like a like a little nook. It's exactly where he was. He was uh, up into the bush a little bit more, basically squeezing himself right. up against the bush. You don't so see there's anything. nothing here? No, there's nothing here, but the wood actually ends around where this uh, where this corpse is. So the wood is just there for yes. Basically, it's it, it's, it's like a uh, like a lookout platform. Basically, all right. You caught There's them catnapping. Basically, is there nothing on the platform? No. No, there's nothing on the platform. All right. What do you want to be on the platform? No, I'm just just wondering if there's 
And if whoa, you whoa, 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 whoa. A couple bags of holding would be nice. <laughs> There's, Just saying. There's a uh, there's a bag up on top of the uh, up on top of the the ramp. Mm -hmm. Grab it. Take it. Take it. It's a bag of dark void. <laughs> Should it be a bag I'll of devouring it. guys? Freaking uh, beholder will pop out of it. It's a portal to the next <laughs> plane. I would like to take it. <laughs> What's in the bag? What's in the bag? A whole lot of nothing. Actually, there are sharp fangs on the inside of the the lid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bag of devour. No, there's just not. There's nothing. It's just an empty bag. Right. Yeah, yeah. Couple pieces of bone. Nothing of interest. Is there anything back here along the wall? No, just another cranny. No, uh, just uh, just another nook and cranny. All right. And I'm done. I'm done. All right, Kay. so, uh, Warren, what are you doing? You've been pretty quiet. Rogar is going to go grab this body that's going down the stream. Yeah, you say you noticed that. Up to derf. Uh, I'll, I'll drag it up to dirt the daring. d -Beck, thank you very much for the follow, d -Beck. Okay, you get the, the, the co you slosh the corpse up through. Where do you want to move it? Like right here or something like that? Out of the stream? Right there next to the dirt. Okay. Right next dirt to the dirt. Dirt said he's going to pile it up. Okay. Well, dirt said he's going to grab him and throw him into the wolves, so. I gotcha. Yeah, that's a good idea. We'll say that he's right there. All right. That's it for me. So what about you? Uh, What say you, Mr. Mage? I'm concentrating with the lights. All right, so you're just keeping these two orbs floating, shedding mm -hmm. their little bit of light off. So the dynamic lighting should be working right, Warren. You shouldn't be able to see too far up in there, right? Oh, I can't see too far in there. It just the line of sight seems to be off because line I can see like down mm -hmm. here and stuff, right? Line of sight. So, should, I mean, no, line of sight should be working, off. but line of sight's not working for me. So. Should be. Let me. Uh, let me. Let me. Let me check your. Uh, has sight. Yeah, looks like you've got line of sight on, so... Hmm. Do, does he have somebody else's sight as well? Like another token? Sure. Well, it seemed like when the herbs, orbs came on, I got more sight too, but that's alright. Hmm. Let me, uh... Let me try something here. Yeah, it actually... It shouldn't, uh... Shouldn't be happening, actually. Like right here, I should I shouldn't mm -hmm. be able to see in here, and I see in there. Hmm. One second. You're always the bringer of bad news, Warren. You know this, right? I am sorry, mate. I'm just trying to be fair. So. Always the always the bringer of bad news. <laughs> You're not GM, so you're not uh, in GM right. mode either. So I have no clue why. You uh, should not have sight unless. Uh, you want me to restart? You can try it, but and yeah, we'll figure it out later. So. <laughs> 